Genesis chapter 6 verse 2 states that before the flood, where there were still Nephilim or giants on the earth, the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves. And of course, they gave birth to children. Who are the sons of God and who are the daughters of men? Some have speculated that the sons of God were angels that took human wives. What? Angels marry humans? Please notice that it is in this context that God declared, My spirit shall not strive with men forever, for his indeed flesh. And then God sent the flood. If angels had been involved, why didn't God destroy them? Genesis chapter 4, which includes the story of Cain killing Abel, is in fact the genealogy of Adam through Cain. We have Adam, Cain, Enoch, there are three other names, and the seventh descendant is Lamech, a murderer that has two wives and three sons. This descendant of Cain is worse than Cain himself, and with him Cain's genealogy stops. Nevertheless, at the end of the chapter, Adam and Eve have another son, Seth. Genesis chapter 5 is the genealogy of Adam through Seth, the one God gave them. Later, the sons of God from Seth's genealogy married the daughters of men from Cain's genealogy. As a result, the entire earth became corrupt and was filled with violence, which led to the flood. Nevertheless, in the second genealogy, we have another guy named Enoch. He's the seventh descendant of Adam. The contrast between the two parallel genealogies is obvious. Lamech is a diabolic criminal. Enoch walks with God. But Adam's genealogy through Seth continues with Methuselah and another Lamech, who again is the opposite of the previous Lamech. Then follows Noah, who has three sons. Who else had three sons? The Lamech that put people to death. In contrast to him, Noah saves people from death. That is, from the flood. Noah is a son of God. Shalom.